What's up gamers? How's everybody doing? Welcome to Steve's tutorial on how to capture your PlayStation 4 party chat. If you're a gamer who plays Battlefield or any other less first person shooter games which I will not utter here and you want to record you and all your friends while you're gaming you've reached the right video. Okay? Now I'm going to stick to my notes here so bear with me. I don't want to forget anything. Uh, if you are on any other platform, by the way, Xbox, PC, PlayStation 3, uh, I can't speak from knowledge or experience. Uh, neither can I speak for any other products other than what I'm using in this video, and I'll outline here uh, in this schematic, okay? Now, uh, by the way, for all the Battlefield gamers like myself, previously in the Battlefield 4, uh, the, the game, the in-game squad chat was not a very good quality, but as of earlier patches, in the year the in-game squad chat seems to be very crisp and very clear and really equal quality to the party chat however if you're like me uh, I typically use party chat anyway because I don't game with just one or two people I game with more than a squad of people every day and we usually end up filling the entire party chat and matter of fact even having more than that so I'm hoping someday they'll actually increase the party chat to match uh, let's say two squads of battlefield which would be ten uh, that'd be awesome um, anyway, now, at any time, if you'd like to see the outcome of the results of uh, my recordings and what I'm about to outline here, you can simply go back here to my channel and look for the, uh, the series I do called Squad Up with Boss, Boss being the clan that I help lead. And you can see, you can hear all the, the, uh, the other people in the party chat uh, chatting and we're laughing and cutting up while, we are, while we're gaming, okay? Okay, with that in mind, here we go. Let's get started, and I want to go and describe down the, uh, the list of equipment that you will need. Uh, again, I can only speak for the brands and things that I use specifically. Uh, <clears throat> item number one, obviously, is the PlayStation 4. Uh, number two would be your, your capture device hardware. Uh, I personally use the HDP, the Hophog HDPVR2 Gaming Edition. Now, uh, the third thing I want to note here is you need to have obviously a, a PC, a computer, a laptop of some sort uh, where you save all your video files after you've recorded them. Uh, I personally use a, uh, I have a gaming PC, a Dell Aurora R4, but I don't actually use it for gaming at all. I just like the robust memory, the graphics, excuse me, I'm sorry, the graphics capability which is great for professional video editing. Uh, the fourth thing that you're going to need, obviously, is your gaming headset. Now, as you see here, uh, I've outlined that I use a Triton 720. I bought this cord. This is actually a corded headset, but I bought it specifically for this setup because I know it works. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't the first one. Um, I did go through trying my first mic that I was using previously was the Turtle Beach PX5, which did not work, unfortunately. Um, the corded... Turtle Beaches may work, but my wireless did not. When I took the uh, the USB cord from the receiver and plugged it into the computer, it did not recognize it as a piece of equipment. I didn't get that chime that you're supposed to get when you plug something into your PC. Um, I also tried the uh, what was the the Sony the Pulse Elite Edition. I bought that wireless headset and thought you know thought since it's Sony, it may eh, it did not work. Nah, no big deal. So I went with what I knew. The Trident 720 works, it's guaranteed. Uh, let's see, the next thing you... Next thing is uh, to have your USB microphones. Two of them. Now, if you're going to do live chat for just you, and you just want to do your own... Uh, how do you want to describe it? You want to do your own live chat uh, and no one else's, not the whole party chat, then you only need one USB mic. And that would be what you plug into your PC and uh, uh, you would use your capture device software to browse to that uh, to that device and you wouldn't need anything else okay uh, <clears throat> the one USB mic that I'm going to absolutely recommend is like I show here my snowball uh, I bought a white snowball off of Amazon I think it was like 50 bucks uh, which was not too bad and then the other mic that you plug into the PC can be an inexpensive mic. It really, the brand does not matter to my knowledge. Okay. Now, um, a couple of important notes before we get started here is number one, make sure your PlayStation 4 controller is completely charged prior to you gaming or doing a session for the evening because 
let me tell you, I found out the hard way. If you get into a live session, you know, with your friends and you're gaming, uh, like I do for hours at a time, and your 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 PlayStation 4 starts to go into blank, the it needs juice. You're in trouble because both of your ports of your US of your PlayStation 4 are taken and they're being used. So you're gonna have to do either one of two things. You're gonna either have to unplug your one mic, which will you know take out the ability for your teammates to hear you, or you can unplug your other mic, which means now you can't hear them. So just make sure your PlayStation 4 uh, controller is fully charged before you do a, a chat session or do this, okay? Um, also, ensure your televisions, make sure all your TVs, your PC, everything is muted and you don't get any volume coming from those sources because you don't want double feedback um, as a result. Trust me, I've, I've tried that. Um, also, hey, just as a side note, not necessarily related to this, but while you're gaming and you have you get incoming PSN messages, if you hate using the console to message back and forth, and you have not tried the app, please, if you have an iPhone or some kind of smartphone, go to the go to your uh, your store and get the PlayStation app. It's free. It's free of charge. <clears throat> and let me tell you, basically, it's an app that you can open your friend requests, messages, and some simple things you can do there, and make it much more easy. Uh, you can respond while you're in game, uh, simply by picking up your phone opening the app and responding to that PlayStation message like a text message. And it's awesome, it's quick, and doesn't disturb your game. Just as a side note. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. So, alright, so you guys have seen the list of requirements. I got, uh, of course, my PS4, got my gaming headset. Uh, actually, I keep it over here hung up next to my, uh, my, my gaming chair. And I got the uh, capture device going to the my PC where I save it and of course this is uh, this is my 40 inch monitor that I keep it on I game on the 60 inch and then of course that's wifey's uh, setup over there so alright okay so <clears throat> so one of my USB mics this one right here this is uh, connected to my uh, PC USB USB port and so what I do is I put this up on here okay and again, that is mic number one that is attached to my PC, which is recording through my, uh, my capture software, okay? That is the mic that you see right here listed uh, right there, okay? So, that only, let me rephrase this again, this only records my voice, period. Uh, this records anything in the room. That is why one of the reasons you want to mute all of these TVs, PC, everything around. You want to record that because any of that coming out of the TV, this will capture anything the surrounding area. Okay? Next thing is mic number two. Okay? So, mic number two, my snowball here. I keep this up here as well. I actually keep them right next to each other because this mic right here my snowball, this is going to record, this, I'm sorry, this is how my teammates, everybody in the party chat hears me. This is how my voice personally is recorded. Well, how do they hear me? Okay, so what we're going to do is, you're going to take the snowball, okay, the snowball USB, and I'm going to, now that my, I'm sorry, this is my, uh, my controller, it is now fully charged, so let me take that out. And I'm going to plug in the uh, the snowball. Now watch. You see the chime there for a microphone, okay? So that is going to trump. Uh, that's going to trump anything else plugged in there because it's the first one. Now, watch what happens when I plug in the gaming headset, which you see is not plugged in yet. So. Here's the gaming headset. Here's my Triton 720. Now watch what happens when I plug this in on uh, on my screen. I'm going to plug it in. Okay, so it's going to say, hey, uh, this is plugged in. Who is the user? But I'm not, I repeat, I am not going to accept that. Let me get my controller. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hit, see the edit, uh, the option for cancel? I'm actually going to hit cancel. Okay, and what it's going to do is it's going to resort back to the the primary thing plugged in there, which is the uh, 
the snowball okay so here's essentially what just happened so basically my snowball is going to be what my teammates in the party chat hear me how that's how they hear me and my uh, my my Triton once I you know plug that in that's gonna be how I hear my teammates once again let me repeat that my Triton is how I hear them my snowball is how they hear me okay um, so obviously everybody that's in the party chat uh, they are going to be heard and recorded uh, and then my voice is going to be recorded through here your teammates in the party chat hear you through this mic plugged into your PS4 my voice is recorded through this mic which is uh, again in your software that's how it's browsed for and then of course uh, my headset when I put that on that's how I hear my teammates and the game volume okay another thing I could show you let me go up to my uh, some people might wonder what are the what do you have your settings on okay so let me go let me go up here and let me go over to settings right <clears throat> let me stand up here and try to do this with I'm trying to do this with one hand so my apologies so so now what we're going to do is we're going to go down to, uh, as you guys know, you're going to go down to sound and screen, okay? You're going to go to your uh, your audio output, and just so you can see what I have this set on, okay? Right now it's set on uh, digital optical output, chat audio, and bitstream, okay? Now, that works with both, uh, both whether you're... Uh, just talking through your mic uh, as far as gaming yourself with just your headset alone in other words without the, uh, the the snowball or it works with the snowball either one so one more time in review the uh, the snowball I plug in first okay and that's gonna acknowledge it's a microphone then I plug in the uh, the Triton headset but I do not acknowledge I hit cancel but yet I can still hear through it, okay? So, that's pretty much the basics of it. It sounds, it, it seems complex at first. Once you get into doing it a few times, it it's, it's, doesn't seem as complicated, I guess, if that makes any sense. I hope this video helped somebody out. And uh, if it did, please feel free to like and subscribe. One final thing here is a schematic of my setup. You can view and pause and look at it as long as you like. Hope that will help answer some questions. See you on the battlefield.